Hello everyone out there, I need to share a story with you, a testimony, a testimony like you have never heard it before. You need to listen to this, it's really, really beautiful, amazing and a strong, strong confirmation that God is behind all the things that happened with me and my family and us coming to America. As some of you already know, we left uh, Denmark with eight suitcases, me and my wife, uh, in January, we came here because of law being changed and a lot of persecution, and we are now seeking asylum in America. And the last month have been very, very hard, as you have also maybe seen in some of my videos. But God had been working behind the scenes. God had been working, and God is so much in control. What happened in the end, I had a half year that was very hard. In the end of that, God, he started to speak to me about starting different centers in America. We left our family, our friends, our Jesus center. We had a big Jesus center in Denmark. We left it all. But in Mark 10, Jesus said, everyone who had left father, mother, brother, sister, feels for my name's sake, would get hundredfold in this life together with persecution and eternal life. And God spoke to me about it. So the dream of a new center started to grow in us. And we have been looking at different things in New Jersey where we have a big team. And we have been looking at things in Florida where we have a team. And God started to speak to me about three centers in the East Coast. New Jersey, Florida and some place in the middle. And one day we heard about a center. We found a center online in North Carolina where I am right now. And we saw there was a center there. And we thought, let's go and look at it. So we, uh, one and a half month ago, a month ago, went on a trip to visit some friends in Kentucky. And there we went to the Ark. That is like a, a big Noah's Ark they have done in Kentucky. Beautiful place. I have a picture here where you can see me standing outside the Ark. And, and it was amazing. One time at the Ark there, my daughter Simone, she asked me, Daddy, how did Noah bring the animals to the ark? And when she asked me that, how did Noah bring the animals to the ark? It, it just became so strong because I said, it was not Noah who brought the animals to the ark. It was God. But when I said that, the Holy Spirit just came over me. I just like, whoa, God brought the animals to the ark. And it became so strong for me and I saw it in front of me how, how the animals came two by two or, or one, two there and we actually have six, seven pairs of the clean one and male and females. And I imagine how God was organizing all of this and bringing the animals to the ark. And we left that place and, and that line just continued in my head. God brought the animals to the ark. God brought the animals. God was organizing it all. God brought the animals to the ark and it became very strong. Then we went to Charlotte. We slept in Charlotte because we were going to look at the center the next day. The center is one hour from Charlotte. We slept in Charlotte. The morning when we woke up, somebody had broken into our car. I have a picture here. They smashed the window and there were glass all over the place. And it was, uh, it, of course, it frustrated us and we need to fix the car and pl put plastic on. And, and we were late two hours to look at this place we were supposed to look at. And when we drove to this place where I am now, it was, it's up in the mountain. We are driving, driving small roads up in the mountain. And we are driving there and, and I was tired at this time. Life had been a little hard the last many months and we have been on a road and we have dri been driving a lot. And now somebody have destroyed the window, smashed the window in the car and we had plastic and we heard all the noise and the plastic was giving noise. And we are driving a lot of small roads up to this place. And I was tired and I was praying and I said, God, I just want to go home. Like, God, why are we here? Like, we are already playing in our head, maybe New Jersey or, or Florida to start there instead and, and not here. Why are we going here? And why are we going up here? And this place is too far away. It's up in the mountain. No one can come up here. And, and somebody are now smashed into the, and smashed the window in the car. And I just want to go home. And I was tired. I was praying and I was tired. I said, God, why are we going here? Let's drop it and go home. And it's too far away. And, but then we came here. We stopped the car. 
came out of the car and everything changed. There was an older gentleman who came and he lifted his arm and he said, Welcome to the ark. You are the first animals God are bringing to this ark. And I was like, what? I was puffed. Like that line had been in my head the whole day. I actually prayed in the car and said, God, why did we go on this trip? The only thing I felt we got out of this trip was that you sent the animals to the ark. It was the only thing I've experienced that you spoke that. And now I come out of the car and the first thing he said, welcome to the ark. You are the first animals God are bringing to this ark. And I was just puff. And he could see I was puff. So he came and said, sorry, sorry. It's not to say that you are animal. But I'm like Noah. <laughs> this is Mrs. and Mrs. Noah. God have called us to prepare this ark, this place. And God has showed us when this place is ready, God is going to send the people like God sent the animals to the ark and you are one of those people and I was like what is happening here and we had a beautiful day with that couple and the real estate agent everyone loved Jesus and we prayed together and God just did something and 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 it's so beautiful that couple Fred and his wife Ones, they are so amazing and we love them and he have adopted me. They love us, we love them. And God have just connected us. And he have been faithful with this place for three years. In three years he had this place. He have only used it one weekend. He have mown the grass. He have just prepared this place in three years without using it. Faithful, as Noah was faithful. And he have been waiting for the animals to come. And now God had been speaking to them that their time was over and they should move to California and then get start a smaller center there. And then he was waiting for the animals. And when he saw me, he was like, this is what I have been waiting for. <laughs> and, and it's so beautiful how God had prepared this place for us. Three years ago, when I was... When God called Fred and his wife to prepare this place, do you know what Ark mean? Ark mean place of refuge. That is the word Ark. We are seeking refuge, asylum in America. Three years ago, before I knew that God called us to America, before I knew that we would seek asylum here, God called Fred and his wife to prepare a place for us and everyone else three years ago but it actually did not start three years ago because god had done so much the last weeks and confirmed it again and again we had a couple here just a few weeks ago there's a golf court here she was playing golf here seven years ago and seven years ago she got a dream about this place and in the dream she was standing there and she was looking down there and she saw how the animals came two by two to this place like they came to the ark of noah and she said that seven years ago she got a dream and she knew nothing about what god had been speaking to us about so it actually not start three years ago with fred it starts seven years ago with her no it is it started in the beginning in the beginning god created heaven and earth before we knew any, every, anything, God prepared a place for his people, a ark, a place of refuge. Because there's more people who will seek refuge. There's more people who need to be trained. There is a big harvest ready in America and God had prepared this place for us. <laughs> and it, there's a lot of flies here. It's so amazing and it's so incredible. Ark, place of refuge. Now I understood why I should go to Kentucky and see the Ark of Noah because God, he spoke to me so we can get a confirmation that this is him. And we have got so many confirmations. And everything about this story is crazy because, okay, it costs $2.2 million. I don't have any money, but we came here and we believe it's God. 
Fred, the owner, and his wife, God have called them to go to go to uh, California and start a smaller place. And they believe they can get that for 1.2. And he came and said, Tom, I love you. I love what you're doing. I love this movement. I see this is so different. This is so pure. I've never seen anything like this before. Or this is like the Jesus movement in the beginning when it was good and healthy and exploded. He said, Torben, I want to be part of it. I believe this is God. I don't need anything extra. You can get this for 1.2 million. So he went from 2.2 million to 1.2 million. But it's still a lot of money when you don't have any. But then what happened? What happened was that the, the mall in the grass there behind me, you can see. What happened was that two months ago, two months ago, I met a couple in, um, in uh, a man. I met a man in Florida who come from California. And he came and he got baptized and received the Holy Spirit. And God started to speak to him. God started to give him dreams, change his family. And God had put in their heart already three years ago that they should move to this area. And now he got the Holy Spirit and God spoke to him. And he had decided to sell his house in California. And that house came on the market a few days ago. That house is on the market right now, $800,000. And he have a company beside, but he had decided to take all the money that come in from that house and donate to this, $800,000. So we went from 2.2 million to 1.2 million. And then a man, as soon as that house is sold, we'll get 800,000. So we would be down to only 400. And then it costs extra money and so on, real estate agent. So we will be down, I hope you can hear me. So we will be down to five, four, five hundred thousand dollars from 2.2 million and for five hundred thousand dollars and it's already paid for we can now go and get a loan loan because we have a building 2.2 million and we only when that is, when we get the house sold we only need the for five hundred thousand but we feel this is not the right way for us we feel we should not get a loan because this is god's place and god is doing something god is sending the animals to the ark god is sending the people and we believe that god he will provide the last four five hundred thousand now so we can get this place and we are very very excited about it i've just got another place because of the noise here and we are very very excited about it and we see god's hand in it in an amazing amazing way why do I do this video? I do this video, okay, we have not signed on the paper yet. And this is also special because we have been allowed to somehow move in and renovate it. So we are actually now, it's not ours yet, but we actually here renovating the place even before we move in and sign on the papers. And that is also not normal. The real estate agent said there's nothing normal in this case. You've never seen anything like this before. But in faith, we step out in faith, renovating it, making ready, believe that the house will be sold and the last morning will come so we can move in. So this is actually a scary video to do because it's not ours yet, I do it in faith. But I believe, I know God is behind this. I know it, I see it. So we are renovating place. We are renovating our apartment right now for me and my wife, my family. And we have been a little homeless the last nine months. Like we have been moving around from place to place and have not had our own place since we left Denmark. And we are just so ready for it. Oh, we are so ready to get our own place again. We are so ready to, to sign on the paper. We are so ready to start schools here. We are so ready for it. I'm doing this video because time is going and we hope we can sign on the paper next week already. We need something to fall in place and I want you to stand together with us in this because time is going and we want to start. I hope to get my working permit not my asylum, I don't know when that comes, but my working permit, I can get mid-October 
So as soon as I get that, we can start with schools here. I can be part of the schools here. And we hope to be able to start a school already in November. And you out there need time to plan. So I want to say right now in faith, there will be schools like there was in Denmark, looked in PTA schools starting from November here near Charlotte in North Carolina. You, the animals, the people God is calling, be ready, prepare. There's not a lot, lot of long, long time for it, but I want to make this video to prepare you already now. So you who God is calling as the animals to the ark to be part of the schools, ask God if that is you, prepare your heart and be ready for the launch with the first schools in November. Help pray for us right now. You know our enemy, he's real and he don't like this to happen. God is going to do something amazing on this place. And this is just the first place. It had 90 rooms. You can see it's a very long building like Noah's Ark. It have 90 rooms. It have a restaurant. I'll show you pictures later. I'll show you videos later. It has 90 rooms, restaurant, 40 acres. There is an RV park. There's a lot of things around. And later I want to do a video with Fred and his wife and with Chris and his wife who's selling the house. So you can hear the whole story. But first I, I want to do this video to prepare you out there. Are you going to join the school? Ask God for that. Prepare now. I know there's not a long time. Pray for us. Pray for Fred and him and his wife that they are going, they have another house they're going to sell, sell and they want to move to California and buy a smaller center there. Pray for Fred and his wife who are right now selling their house in California. We need that house to be sold right away and with cash because we need those money so we can pay Fred so Fred can move on so we can sign on the papers. So there's a lot of details. We also need the last $500,000. And I believe that we can get it if we stand together. We God have called people there out there already to be part of those $500,000. So we can do it together without going to a bank. Because this is God's place. This is not my place. This is God's place. And together we can see this happen. So ask yourself if you should be part of this. Ask yourself if, if you should be part of join a school. Be part of maybe come and help reno renovate this place. Maybe you have a company and business and know about plumbing and roof and electricians work and want to come and help us make this ready. If you are a businessman and want to support or just a person with a good big heart who wants to support and help with the last money, if, if that is you, God is calling, then contact us. Contact the last reformation and let us see everything fall in place. So again, I hope we pray we do this video in faith and we believe that maybe in a, a few days or weeks we'll be able to sign under the paper and you're going i'm going to do a video with fred and his wife and chris and his wife and you're going to hear the whole story come on what is the chances you are the animals god are sending to the ark ark mean place of refuge for me and my family this has been very strong we see so much god's hand in us leaving Denmark. For us, it can look like an accident. For us, it can look like circumstances. But God, three, seven, many years ago, he prepared a place for us, a, pl a, a place of refuge. And this is going to be our new home. And we are so ready to move in. So pray for us, stand together with us. And want to say to you out there, God is faithful. No matter what you stand in, God is faithful. We are part of something greater. Jesus is building his church. It's not man's work. It's not man's strength. It's the Holy Spirit. And it's going to look different than we thought. And this is very different than we thought. And the real estate agent had never seen anything like this before. So God bless you. And I will keep you updated. Pray for Fred. Pray for Chris and his family. Pray for us. Pray for the house will be sold. The money will come in. If you want to support, contact us. If you can come and help to renovate it, contact us. If you're going to join the new school in November, we will keep you updated very soon. God bless you all. It's amazing what God is doing. Bye-bye.